episode 085. Hi, my name is Stephanie Rice, three-time Olympic gold medalist from Australia. I'm an entrepreneur. If I would replace the word success for happiness, that would be success. Welcome to Innovator Diaries, a show where influences and leaders from all walks of life share their story and experiences. You learn the strategies and action points that have helped them find success and get to where they are today. You'll hear their stories and valuable advice to help you on your own path. These messages may also help somebody you know, so please share. Stephanie, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it and I am really excited to talk to you because you've achieved so much, not only for yourself, but for the country and the sport of swimming that um, I think it's very, very interesting to be talking to you today. So to start with... Thank you. No, no problem. <laughs> to start today, <laughs> could you please tell me a little bit about your childhood and who was the most influential person in that stage of your life? Yeah, I um, so I was a swimmer and I always grew up loving the water, especially as a baby and as a young girl. Um, always loved playing in the bath, always loved being in the pool, learning swimming strokes and just It was really like I found that passion so early in life. I don't know any other way other than really following my passion. And I think it was really meaningful for me because I always found, you know, junior school, early primary school really challenging. I sort of didn't ever really fit in with many of the other girls at my school and I always felt pretty excluded and different probably is the best word from everybody else and I um and that definitely made me a very shy introverted type of person but when I would go to swimming training or playing in the water on my own it was just like that was where I would come alive and I just loved being in the pool and I loved my swimming friends, like the friends that I made outside of school with swimming. And I'm talking at the ages of like five, six, seven, eight, nine kind of thing. So really, really early on in my childhood. And I always think I gravitated towards swimming because it definitely gave me my sense of identity from a really, really young age. I, I don't know if I ever really had someone that was hugely influential to me at that point in time. I've always had incredibly supportive parents that just could see how much I loved swimming and I'm so truly grateful for them allowing me to follow that passion and really commit to it at the way I did. Uh, so I feel that that influential person came in a lot later in life, sort of around 14, 15, and, and that was my swimming coach who I ended up having my entire swimming career with. So what did he teach you? What do you think is the biggest lesson he taught you? Oh my gosh, that is so hard to sum up in one, you know, <laughs> succinct sentence. I think there's so many things, honestly, Ricardo. I think it was the fact that I was a younger girl, like I was 14, 15, going through that stage of identity, testing the boundaries, not really knowing who I am as a person and who I want to be in this world. And he hugely shaped my swimming career of course and you know really pushed me to help me achieve the goals that we both had as sort of athlete and coach but I think what I'm most grateful for is the fact that he truly shaped my character and my personality and my values and my self-worth and a lot of things that have carried through post swimming that I just will forever be grateful for because he almost was like a second father to me and in swimming we were training seven hours a day six days a week so he was the person I ended up spending most of my time with Want to listen to the entire interview? Simply go to innovatordiaries.com slash episode number. Or you can find this episode and hundreds of other great stories on Google Podcast, iTunes, Spotify, or whatever your favorite podcast player is. Please check me out on LinkedIn. Follow or connect with me as I'm very proactive on that social network. And finally, subscribe to this YouTube channel. You'll get all the new stories as soon as they're released. See you next time.